How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and today we're going to be talking about SNDL sundial growers. And you know what this is for? Today was a very, very rough day. Did SNDL get the benefit what was going on with GME and so forth? Yes, it did. Because we did have some upside movement and a lot of people, it brought it back on the radar, right? So a lot more people were getting into it. We also ended up hitting some really good price targets that we spoke about even in the previous video. So what I want to talk about, a lot of people saying, well, you know what? This stock ain't nothing. It ain't worth nothing. It's no good and stuff like that. It shouldn't be more than a dollar. All that kind of stuff is around. People are saying that. But the fact that we are in a very, very volatile market right now, look how well it's doing. It's literally staying above that dollar mark and it's showing a lot of support. But anyways, I'm going to be going into the technical analysis for anyone who's thinking about building a position or maybe adding to your position, averaging down and so forth. Hey, doing these analysis type of videos, I'm hoping that it helps you out so you have a good idea in regards to what the price action is looking like. So let's get into it. All right, so we're going to be doing a technical analysis on SNDL Sundial Growers. All right, I want us to actually take a look at what happened today. Yes, it ended up being down on the day overall in general, but there's certain things that I think we need to take into consideration when it does come to this stock. So as we could see here, we're taking a look at yesterday. That's where we're going to be starting. We had a low of a dollar and thirty-three cents around two fifty. So just an hour before regular trading hours were being closed, and we had ended up having a very very strong move, as you guys could see here, getting up to literally a dollar and 64 cents. And this is a very, very strong move in the sense of many people are saying, and you know what? A lot of the volume actually had the opportunity to actually increase. As you guys know, there was a lot of movement in GME, AMC costs and so forth. And since Sundial was kind of a little bit in the mix of that in regards to what was going on with Reddit and so forth, it comes back to the term that I like to say on this channel. And I also, want to make sure you guys are aware of this where it says rising tides flow all boats right so it's more so as a sympathy play so you really get to see how that actually works out and again i don't mind it because hey that just means more volume and the more volume that we get in regards to what's happening the better we're going to be seeing the stock actually perform overall on the day so that's why i am not complaining whatsoever so at the end of the day we ended up finishing down 5.52 percent overall on the day but as you can see here when we kind of opened up around this 165 area we maintained it right we didn't gap down like crazy or anything like that so that's something to actually look forward to so as you can see here we have a support level here that was going on between pretty much four yeah 450 all the way to 525 where we hit these areas and we just made a move back up ended up revisiting this resistance area of 165. Then the support area got even higher between 630 and what we see at seven, right? We see that here, it meets it on many different occasions throughout this period of time and makes some strong move to the up, right? So now we notice how the resistance level changes. So before we were, we were at 165, then it's 163. We have a sharp sell off here. And again, this happened to many stocks around this time, around that 755 and between 725 and so forth. There was a lot of selling, but then we ended up getting a move, right? So the support here ended up being around $1.43 and then we made a move all the way up to $1.59. And then just before we get into the open, as you could see here, we had a little bit of a sell off as you could see there from that candle, right? But check this out. Soon as when we come out at open, we have a strong, strong move, strong move, as you can see here, getting all the way up to around a dollar and 63 cents. So as you can see, that mid dollar 60 area was definitely an area of resistance because it not only did it test it in pre-market, it also tried to do it in regular trading hours, but hey, it just could not get past it. I definitely do believe if we would have been able to get past that dollar 65 area, we would have been able to definitely test into the dollar seventy area, no doubt in my mind about that. But we also got to take into considerations in regards to how the overall day was. So as you can see here, as we reach this top right here around the do the mid dollar sixties, we end up going down to as low as you can see here. Even though it didn't spend that much time around a dollar and forty six cents. If we want to go where we're seeing there's a lot of support, we could take a look here. It's around that dollar forty eight range. Because look at this. 
Look at that, look at that the amount of action bouncing off that one particular area. Then we ended up breaking that area as you can see here and then reaching down to a low. And this is literally between the time of 150 all the way to two o'clock, right? And as we could see, 138 ended up being that support area. You notice that a lot of people started buying. There was a lot of buying pressure here because as you can see, we made a strong move to the top, making another, hitting another resistance area here at $1.44. So just to keep this in mind, so you guys are following along and you're aware when you look at these charts, look at this. Resistance area, $1.48, right? Resistance area at $1.46. Resistance area, $1.44. Whenever you start noticing this particular type of a pattern, the stock is gonna to continue to go down, especially towards the end of the day, because again, a lot of traders are exiting their positions and there's a lot of selling going on and there's also a lot of uncertainty going on. So when you compound all of that, here we are at $1.36 where you can see, you know what, that's where we have some support and where we bounced off. As you can see, we never really broke through that particular area. Also, let's take a look quickly at the five day, five minute. And look at this support area. This is an area that we're very familiar with. Right? If we go across here, look at this. There's been many occasions where we've had the support area already in this particular range. Let me just spread out to chart even further. Look at this. Right? So we really hold down the that dollar the dollar the mid dollar thirty and above area fairly, fairly well. So that's why is the reason why when I do these technical analysis videos, you guys get to see why how valuable it could actually be in regards to figuring out where an entry point is and where an exit point can be and so forth. I know many people that I've spoken to have decided to add around this dollar thirty six area. In regards to knowing that the market is very volatile the way it is, hey, there's a potential chance or maybe there's a likely chance that this stock could definitely end up breaking the support area. If we look at the chart on the five day, I mean, you know, let's do the one month, five minute. Yeah, so if we take a look at the one month, five minute over here. So look, we have a little bit of support in that dollar thirty three. But if we go down a bit further, as you can see, and we kind of tested it right over here at, on, on February the 23rd. But look at this dollar eleven area. There's a lot of strong support in the dollar eleven, the dollar teen area, as you can see here. So if we end up breaking the support area, as you can see, we go back down a little bit more. Then it could literally get down to around a dollar. But again, there's a strong amount of support in this particular area, the dollar fifteen. So I'm definitely remaining bullish on the fact that we should be able to stay above that. Let's go back to the one day five minutes. So as you can see here, we are in after hours and it's literally holding that area very, very well in regards to, as you can see, the 136 right now is at 138. And that's pretty much the area where it's trading around 137, 138. So if it ends up gapping up, we can already see by looking at the chart, we want to be looking at the dollar 40, right? We also know that, let me just move it out so you guys can see it. Yeah, so we want to see this area being tested. This would be the next area to be tested. Next area to be tested. Next area to be tested and so forth, right? And if we end up getting a gap up or even starting again around that dollar thirty-eight, dollar thirty-six for tomorrow, I'm definitely looking forward to a move to the upside. But again, this is all dependent on market conditions and how things are going and how much volume we actually have. Hope you guys found this helpful and you guys got an idea of what the predictions look like, all right? So for my final thoughts, I am still bullish on SNDL Sundial Growers. The price where it's at, I still see some room for more of an upside. But please be aware that there's a lot of volatility going on, all right? It is very unpredictable. So one of the things that I want you to do is make sure if you're thinking about getting into a position, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So when you do invest, just know you're doing it at your own risk. If you are thinking about doing it, think about a dollar cost averaging approach. We don't know how long this volatility is gonna be lasting, but we do know there's gonna be a recovery and it's gonna be a bullish trend going forward after all of this. So please be aware and don't be afraid to actually add to your positions on different days instead of putting a whole lump sum up front, not knowing what the next day or next week is going to be like. This will help spread things out and also give you a lot better looking of a cost average. All right. Just wanted to kind of share that with you guys and so forth. And any money that you do invest, 
Just know you cannot be afraid to lose it. You can't have any emotion in the money that you put into the stock market because that's where you end up making bad decisions, all right? Talk to you guys soon.